Okay, we're back. Took me a little maneuvering to get that piece in there, just a matter of bending it without breaking it to get it to sit. So now we're on to the front steering wheels. And then after that, we'll take another quick break and cut some more parts apart. Which looks like we're gonna be heading for the gas tanks. Hmm. Let's see. How are these? And my suggestion, if anybody does want to build this kit properly and work on it, you're definitely going to have to glue the rims inside the, the wheels because they just keep popping on and off. It's not a really good fit, as you can see. They don't, they don't really snap in there. They just kind of sit in there loosely. Just, baby, just put them on, and then they'll just have to, we'll just have to glue them later because they, they'll just sit there back and forth all day long. This one, on the other hand, is like stuck. Yeah. This one can't even roll. It might not. You might have to slide it on there. Oh, because um, this one is loose. No, it's just that because of the way it sits on there. Okay, so just pull it. Just, that's okay. It's, it may not roll. They're really not supposed to roll. Okay guys, we're going to take a break and then we're going to cut some more parts out and be back. Okay, so we're back after cutting a lot more parts off just to save some time. So we're going to try to get through putting the cab on all the way up to the, putting the, installing all those little lights on top of the cab. So we we'll probably won't film any of that. So anyway, so what we're look, working on right now are the tanks and then some uh, putting the interior stuff together and getting the cab on with the mud flaps. the the mounting plate and that should be about it until we move to the tanker okay so what he's doing now but he's going to simply snap those two parts together remember line up the pins in the holes one side only one side actually has the mounting pins on it which are those two two long pieces okay all right so snap that good all right, that's going to go in here. Remember. Does it matter which way? Well, it shouldn't, I don't think. I think it's asymmetrical. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Let me see. It looks like it's the other way. Yeah, yes. that part goes on the outside. The yes. ridge, yeah, there you go. All right, okay. and I've noticed, uh, so he's going to start putting the two fuel tanks together. Um, I've noticed that the gear shift, the gear, the, the, uh, the suspension part that has the drive shaft that mounted under there, you start wiggling trying to get these wheels on and then that comes off. Um, so I've noticed that a lot of this stuff is not snapping. It's either hard to snap, like what he's experiencing right now, or it's very loose. So I'm afraid this thing right here might come off, um, once you turn the truck over. Or, like in this case, he's trying to line up these pieces, and once you get them started with that chrome plating, sometimes, of course, it's, it makes it too thick, so you have to sometimes rub off some of the chrome to make it slide in, but we'll try to get it on in there. It looks like it's going just a little bit of force needed. So get them lined up, and I'll push them all the way in. I got them okay, so you start working on the other one. And it's just a matter of snapping it together. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So they're a little tough. One-handed though. And both-handed too. That, that one's tough too? Hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, these are probably, it's probably a case, as you can see, it's got a little bit of a gap there. It's probably a case where I'm just going to have to probably stop and sand it a little bit to get some of that chrome off, scrape some of the chrome off and go together. So we're going to be right back. <laughs> 